Welcome back to Max's Garage Mahal and we're going to talk about the uh, Hustler Raptor SD Kawasaki driven lawnmowers and this is really about the ergonomical or ergonomic dash and this was dash number one the prototype and we chose to uh, incorporate a fuel gauge into the mower several years ago just haven't had time to get around to it or the, all the parts in one place at one time and we decided to go ahead and go from the original dash to this dash here now we're going to go to this dash and we were going to put the fuel gauge on the front and of course it would then be facing when you're riding fuel gauge would be facing when you look down you'd see the fuel gauge right here or as I lovingly call it push water um, so we were going to incorporate the moving the throttle and ignition switches and all that stuff toward the rear and that way we'd have more room to get the fuel gauge toward the front so we could see it now we're still going to keep the relationship of the clutch and throttle Ignition. Ignition here, choke here, throttle, and clutch here. We were going to move around the, uh, the strobe light switches, the headlight and taillight switches. And now we're going to go ahead and incorporate the headlight and taillight switches. And they're still going to be on their own. They're not going to be utilized through the ignition switch. Uh, that way you can keep the lights off while you're starting the motor if you happen to be using the mower after dark. Um, or let's say you just want to run the mower out and use it as a work light. You could run the mower out and then put on your LED lights and not have to run the engine. Um, okay, so the updates are we decided to go ahead and put the fuel gauge in the rear. This is number one. This is Ego or Ergo 1, Ergo 2. And this was going to be Ergo 2.0. As you can see, <clears throat> we've moved the fuel gauge to the rear. We still have to incorporate the hour meter and the voltmeter, which we're going to do here. And um, as you can see, the differences are this was moved toward the front. Um, we have basically reinforced the throttle area we didn't take out as much material that's not it's really not required you just need a hole large enough to get your throttle cable handle through and then from that point on it's just the shaft moving back and forth on the handle so that takes care of that now while we're at it we're going back from the hour gauge that I've had on it because we had um, a couple of dealers pad the hours on the mower by leaving the key on. Hopefully that was by mistake, but I've le since learned from someone that uh, borrowed my mower from those dealers, ate that dealer, that the reason why it had an extra a whole bunch of hours on it wasn't because the key was left on, it's because the thing was actually out mowing yards. Not cool dealers, don't do that to your customers. All right. And I'm not ever going to give up that information, who that dealer is. Okay, so the, oh, I want to switch. As you can see, the switches are not in there. Uh, pushed into place where they belong. They were just there in the hole. So the switches will be here and here. So now we're only going to have the headlight, tail light switch, and the emergency strobe lights. So we... I may go back at one point in time and change that out so that if you were using this more as a work light, you'd only need the headlight on, you wouldn't need the taillights. Of course, the taillights use so very little. There's six of those lights, and I think they only draw something like two tenths of an amp for all six of them, so it's not a big deal. But it would be if you're out there for hours because you don't want to run those little tiny seven amp, ten amp batteries down. They, they don't last very long. So, New fuel gauge, it's ready to go in. Uh, all we like now is incorporating the hour meter 
and the voltmeter, which I've got to get back out of this panel. I only put it back in there for you guys to get an idea of where it was located at the original uh, ergo number one. So we're going to put these suckers in here. When you have this in place, this is a lighted with a blue light LED amp gauge or voltmeter rather. So I'm going to put this right here, I think. And I'm going to put the hour meter, which shows 63 hours. The more has, I really should have left the old, this analog in there until I get it up to 63 hours. But I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the 63 hour original amp gauge back in here. Or hour gauge. So I'll have it in here this way. And I technically could put this right here, like this, but I'm going to put it like that so that this number faces upward like this number does. This faces up, and um, that way all the numbers sort of go in the same direction. So, let me shut off the camera. I'm going to take you in there and show you what the mower looks like when the dash is out of the way and what you're looking at when you look down in there. And I've shown you this before in other other videos so I'm going to show you this again and don't let all these wires really confuse you and I'm going to show you what you can do to keep you from being confused so be right back okay here we are guys and when you look down in here you're going to see all that conglomerated mess in there so there is your throttle that's your throttle lever here's your choke which of course I have out of the machine temporarily because it's got to go down through all this conglomerated mess here. So what you want to do is you want to mark all your wires and you can test them all out <clears throat> and find where they go but it's a whole lot easier just to look at the marks plug them in. So um, now since we're going to incorporate the headlights here and the tail lights which are here and as you can see right down here there is a plug-in where I can disconnect to remove the switch for the power socket same way on the tail lights right over there you see that yellow plug that's an XT60 plug right down there Let's see if I can get close enough right there and I can unplug that and that fuel or that fender will come off so Bear in mind you want to do these things. Now I want to do some new wiring on this thing to incorporate a remote control um, toy disconnect because they have more sockets on them and they're very very good. They're, they're waterproof and they do a really good job so I'm going to incorporate these uh, tail lights into that. This will remain the same on the power socket. It's pretty heavy and you might run a spray or something so don't let any of this stuff really mess you around and, and make your brain go numb because just like removing right down there your throttle and choke cable as you can see they're removed I think there's there you go you should be able to see the the that's the um, that's not the choke that's the throttle cable okay so all you got to do is put those back in there, hold your throttle wide open, both ends, and then tighten her down your business same way with the choke. Push choke closed, disconnect, and then open the choke all the way up. Make sure it's doing the same thing on the other end. Adjust it out, and you're in business. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get some more done. I'll come back and show you where we're at at that point in time. Okay, a little bit of an update here. Now we're down to the hand trimming. And remember, Measure thrice, cut, no, measure, measure twice, cut one. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Just measure more than once. Now, we want these things to have a good, nice, tight fit. And as you can see, we're just about getting down to that nice, tight fit here. So we want this thing to go in here. And that's too tight right there. You can't really get it in there. So what we're using is this little tool right here. This is a dangerous tool. Keep your face, your hands, your body, your arms, your legs, everything else you care for out of the way because it will bite you. And a good sharp blade 
really does make a difference and if you're not good at whittling then you might want to use this uh, some other type of tool rather than this particular tool um, being an old machinist and and uh, whittler <laughs> I whittled on metal and wood and everything else you can dream of in fact this place here was I built it and uh, it's a pretty nice little place it's probably not the best in the world and it's certainly not finished out the best in the world but it does everything I'm looking for it to do and a lot of this thing was whittled out measured a lot of times made diagrams put the numbers in the diagram so that I knew exactly what it was going to take off and where it was going to fit and I kept all those so if I ever did let's say I had a fire and only part of it burned then I could go back and I could duplicate every piece so let's see how close we are now and you're saying well this is a lot of work it is a lot of work but if you want excellent of quality and and major fit did you hear that little pop Let's see if it'll do it again hey a little tiny pop but there you go guys now we've got ignition switches fit these switches here are fit they're fit in place clutch is in place fuel gauge amp gauge voltmeter rather uh, by the way this is also a double USB charging port so that if you want to uh, charge your phone while you're operating your machine you could do that or run something with 5 volt up to 4.4.2 point, 4 amps charge your battery pretty quickly so anyway I've got this idea here from uh, Mr. Doug Kramer which is also an admin at the Hustler More Owners Group thank you Doug Kramer and uh, he gave me this idea and I appreciate that Doug this has really been very very in fact it's invaluable this is a very valuable little tool let's see now what else do we like here we've got the fuel gauge clutch all the pieces in maybe installation hmm okay so we'll show you some of that as well now we've got to wire the fuel gauge um, we've got to all this other stuff is wired although we are going to convert some other wiring over to go down to two switches and I had a guy over a while ago that says you know if you were smart you'd stay with three wait a minute did he say if I were smart hmm wonder what he meant by that anyway I want to consider that but I'm gonna put it on first with two and see how I like it if I don't like it I may go back and get smart and put the third one right in here so we'll see what it looks like feels like and we'll get back to you but we're going to do some installation next well I can't turn this thing off what's the deal okay we just got through mowing this thing mowed that yard across the street over there and uh, this is what she looks like boys and girls right there what do you think of that okay so it's on it's run tested now we do not have the fuel tank gauge set up yet and we're going to move some of the wiring around we don't like the way the wiring is going so we're somewhat a little tight because I moved the if you see that's not working right now because I couldn't hook it up the wiring just wasn't long enough because that switch was originally over here and this switch was here it's really tight I don't like the, the wires be tight so we are going to rewire this thing we'll show you that stuff later but there you are boys and girls she works great the I mean it's really fits the hand well uh, when you start you just the choke zone when you start it you just rock your hand down chokes off and you're ready to go and I mean it works great. It started in. What do you think about that? Okay, well, kitties, that's where it's at. And we appreciate you guys coming by Max's Garage Mahal. And hopefully, uh, you got something out of this. And uh, go ahead and build yourself an ergonomical dashboard for your Kawasaki's, uh, whatever brand more you have. This happens to be a Excel. Industries hustler
turf model uh, Raptor SD 60 and I call it the Super Sport because she's got the Super Sport wheels on her down there if you can see them so again we appreciate you guys coming by Max's Garage of Mahal be sure and uh, subscribe if you would hit that like button get some more people to see these videos and um, share too if you would please and y'all come back see us here at Max's Garage Mahal you hear? Yeah?